Hey June, let's go see your babies. We've been waiting for everybody to open their eyes and Mr. Blue was our last one. Hey guys. I love that they love to snuggle together. They just make these big piles. But all right, let's check just to see. Oh, they're barely open. Babe, all their eyes are open now. That's so good. <laughs> they so are cute. so cute. I know, and he's so tiny. I love it. But you guys have sound stimulation today. You wanna help me grab a few and we will take them into the living room? Let's do it. All right, babe, you take this one. All right. And I'll meet you in the living room. All right, let's go tan. <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, June, you watch after her. Here's some brothers and sisters. So what sound are we doing today? We're gonna to be doing two different sounds. We're gonna be doing a squeaker toy and then we're gonna be doing the vacuum, but at a distance. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, these guys, I mean, normally the vacuum is like week two, but these guys, they just seem to not be stressed out by anything. So we're gonna take them on the advanced route. <laughs> okay, that's fun. I'm interested to see their reactions to the vacuum. I know, it's a lot of fun, but we probably have to wait till they're done nursing to see like some real responses. Cause when they're nursing, they kind of just tune everything out. That, that makes sense. And I wanted to bring them in here because their puppies being right beside Pudge's puppies, whenever I do some type of stimulation, then it makes them upset. These guys and Pudge's puppies were born eight hours apart. So they're going through the exact same stresses and stimulations that I'm doing. And so June and Pudge, they just want to keep comforting each other. So it's just easier to bring them out here, do the stimulation, and then we can put them back and swap litters. Oh, that makes complete sense. Yeah, but I think we have enough non-nursing to go ahead and start with the squeaker. Perfect. All right, guys. <coughs> June. Oh, June makes the sound. <coughs> it's okay, you see, it's just a squeaker. These guys. I mean, so far, everybody is hey, doing great. Relax with me, buddy. You're okay. If anything, Yellow's tilting her head towards the sound. She <laughs> kind of is more interested in what it was. All right. Anything? Did you see any observations? No. I didn't either. Mr. Orange just kind of laid still and Miss Yellow definitely looked at the squeaker. So I think that's a really positive attribute that I would document about her. All right, I'm gonna get the vacuum and we're gonna hold it to the side and see what they think about that. Okay, <laughs> Yellow just like, just <laughs> Did she right roll off? off? Yeah. Ah, come here, sweet girl. Let's put you over here. That way you can't roll anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, June. All right, June, you're gonna get a little startled, but you don't mind the vacuum at all, so you're okay. Ready? You watching, babe? Yep. Okay. Oh, Jim, that's okay, buddy. I saw black just take a little bit of a startle. I don't know if it was from June. Moving? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's see. It's okay, buddy. Tan just stayed just completely still. Look, June, it's just the vacuum. That's awesome. Blue's over here and he's just in like a little coma. He's just like milk, milk happy. <laughs> he didn't get startled at all. Good girl. All right, I'm gonna try it over here so that way these guys can see it or okay. hear it. The same distance that these guys did. All right, June, one second. Oh. June, it's okay. All right, she's leaving. Oh, it's okay, June. Come here, buddy. She probably doesn't like the wind, too. Ah, uh, interesting. It's okay. Here, you want your yak cheese? There you go. Good All girl, right. bud. Well, I'll hold it over here. So far, nothing. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, I am gonna take it over one time. Okay. And see see if I get any reactions because they're doing so good. Okay. Yeah. 
And June, I think you're better just watching from a distance. <laughs> I think so too. I think it's sweet though. She's watching from a distance, making sure the puppies are still, yeah. you know, safe and so good. Do you, do you think it was the wind coming out that kind of she I didn't do, like? I do, I do. Because even I got startled. It blew my hair. You couldn't see it, but it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, puppies, you ready? Oh, look, affirmation. <laughs> did you hear the noise? I did. Okay, just making sure it wasn't just me. Wow, June, it's okay, bud. I know, the only one that did anything was tan, and that was just a little bit of a stretch. It wasn't even a flinch or anything else, so. I think they're doing amazing on sound stimulation. Yeah, this is really impressive. I'm wondering I, how, how they're gonna compare with Pudge. I don't know, we gotta get Pudge's puppies and we'll swap them. Okay, let's do it. All right, all right, babe, I got the last two. Nice. Aren't these guys so cute? They are. <laughs> the dark red is just so neat to see. Yeah, like this one. This is Mr. P. So cute. And their eyes are open but barely open yeah. or i just caught them from napping <laughs> right but they are so vocal right now i know i think it's because they smell pudge over here but she's hiding so she's she's like i don't think i want to nurse right now i just want to be cuddled by aaron <laughs> but they definitely can smell and see her it's okay mr red <laughs> and then these guys are still my tiniest ones Mr. Oh Yellow goodness. and Mr. Purple. So cute, and they're so curly. I know, they are really curly. Probably some of the curliest ones we've ever had. Wow. And then the biggest ones are still orange and tan. Oh. These are these are the chunkies. Look at you guys, <laughs> so cute. Oh yeah, they're, all their eyes are really open, these yeah. guys. Well, I definitely think that they were stimulated by Pudge walking by over here. And so they were like, oh, it's the milk. And right. then she is over here. She left. So yeah. <laughs> we want to grab the squeaker behind you. Yeah, we can do that. And we'll get started with these guys. So they have been way more vocal than June's puppies. You're right. Hey, and buddy. so and Pudge loves the squeaker. So she's probably <laughs> going to want to take it. But okay. we'll see. So far we got a lot of movement, but I yeah. think that green, green, I think totally green just wants, wants to nurse. nurse. <laughs> yep, that's exactly right. Pudge, can you lay down? Come here. Good girl. Oh, hey, you're almost laying down. <laughs> lay down, buddy. She can't decide. Yeah, she's like, if I sit, then I'm gonna have to nurse. There, there you, you go. go. All right. All right. Nothing so far. Yeah, That's I saw awesome. Orange's ears kind of like wiggle. Okay, that yeah. tells me that he heard the squeaker, so yeah. that's wonderful. All right, let's do the challenging part. Oh, you want to do it for them? Yeah. Okay. I think that they did a great job with the squeaker, and then I probably won't go over them, but we'll do it at a distance. Okay. So I saw Orange kind of do a little bit of a shake to acknowledge okay. that they heard the sound. And then did you see Yeah, green? I saw Teal. Oh, yeah. Teal, sorry. That's okay. I definitely saw her do a little bit of a, a shake. All right, we're gonna try it again. I saw both of these guys do a little bit of a shake. Yeah, <laughs> definitely saw a little startle. But everyone's like doing it. good, no one's retreating. Exactly, I think that is great. All right, I'm going to move it over to this side. So these guys have the same sensation. Wow, they're doing so good. I know, both litters have just done such a great job today. I really thought with this group being more vocal 
that that was going to then constitute their reaction to certain sound simulations. Yeah, absolutely. I thought so too. But I have been really impressed by these guys. And I guess they just want to be chatty with us during our playtime and socialization. Yep. But when it comes to stressful stimulation, they are just as good as June's puppies at doing it. Completely agree. And I'm so glad these guys are doing so well with their sound stimulation because we've had two or three families in this litter and one on June's that are specifically asking us to work on sound stimulation because they're going to be therapy or emotional support dogs. That was so precious. And they need to be used to loud sounds because if their child that they're a comfort for has some type of emotional trigger, they don't want the dog to be scared. So we are working really hard so that way we can send home great puppies. But I'm going to get these guys back to their nursery and I hope everybody has a wonderful week.